We often talk about crime in the district, especially young people being involved, being killed, including Davon McNeil shot to death on July 4th of 2020. Well, tomorrow, a block of Cedar Street Southeast gets a new name to honor Davon. Jess Arnold has been in contact with Davon's family since the beginning of this, and Jess is in studio now. Um, his mother was hosting an anti-violence cookout on July 4th in that neighborhood when her baby was shot. Yeah, can you imagine that you have been doing that at that very moment? She's actually been a violence interrupter and heavily involved in the community for years. So starting tomorrow morning, the 1400 block of Cedar Street Southeast will become Davon T. McNeil the third way to reclaim the block that claimed his life. And his family plans to celebrate this moment. She's not giving up on the community despite her own challenges. So with that being said, Crystal has worked hard and making sure, like I said, his, he's had his pictures on the bus stops on the side of buildings in the district. And now this, he will now have the street where he lost his life named after him. And it is an honor. And we are very glad and proud to be able to witness this on his behalf. Crystal's cousin, Law Walker, who you just heard from there, says that they'll also have the mental health agency One Care at tomorrow's event for anyone needs, who needs help processing any strong emotions that might come up then. She said there's also going to be a local band and food, and they'll be marking Davon's birthday. He would have turned 15 on Tuesday, January 9th. As Law mentioned, Davon's mom, Crystal, who you just saw there, has been working hard to keep his memory alive. She also started the organization DM3 to support other quote unquote traumatized youth in DC. Last year, she took a group of them on a wellness retreat to Florida. That's where this video is coming from. Now she's working to prevent other families from experiencing the pain that she has felt. Tomorrow's event goes from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. at what is now called the 1400 block of Cedar Street Southeast. Well, and uh, just good to see kids just being kids in that mm -hmm. video from Florida. But as we've been talking about all this week, we could see some rain and snow rolling in tomorrow. So how is that going to impact this event? Yeah, I asked Law about that when I talked to her, and she said that the event is going to go on rain, so snow, sleet, ice, or hopefully shine. They are determined mm -hmm. to mark the special moment regardless. Annie. Uh, right. Jess, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a little break for uh, Davon tomorrow, Jess. I thank hope you. so. I yeah. hope so for yeah. their sake. All right. I hope so as well.